Hello my little rose petals and my little rose thorns. Welcome back to the channel for the first episode of our new series, Planet Zoo. I've been waiting for this for months. I know all of you have too and I am so excited to play it. I have set aside this whole week to play nothing but Planet Zoo. We are in the beta edition of it. We have until October 8th to play it and I am about to not waste any time doing so. Welcome to Planet Zoo. Thank you for joining us. You're just a few small steps away from experiencing the world of Planet Zoo. First, we'll create an avatar of yourself to represent your amazing creations among the Planet Zoo community. Make sure to create someone your friends will recognize. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and create our avatar. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so we're going to be, oh my gosh, we can be a teen or an adult. We can be slim or large, a female, obviously. Let's be an adult because <laughs> I'm an adult. Sure. Um, all right, let's, um, let's kind of do that. That's more of a red skin tone, which is what I like. Um, let's see, facial. I feel like my face is a little bit more like that i guess all right hair um hmm i kind of want to do hair like that that's really cute what's this hair look like oh my gosh look at all these different options you guys it's like it's like creating a sim and i love it so very much okay i think i definitely want to go with this hair i'm like all about long hair all right and then we'll do oh we can do like a little ombre sort of thing really or is that like the only Hmm. Okay, okay. How do you make the ombre color? Like, what is that? Or is that just like the color? Oh, wait. No. Okay. All right, guys, we're learning this together. We are learning together. I don't want glasses. I don't uh, wear glasses. Okay, bodies. Oh, look at that. Oh, this jean jacket is speaking my name. Let's change the color. Um, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a lot of options here. So let's do legs. Um, are these leggings? Because I'm definitely a leggings type of girl. Oh, but do we want to do... Let's do like white leggings. I feel like that's cute. Even though we probably... <laughs> white leggings around um, <laughs> wild animals is probably not the best. Those are actually like sweatpants. I kind of like these jeans a little better. Yeah, those shorts are a little funky looking. Okay. All right, so, oh, and they come with shoes. Oh, okay, so you can, like, kind of pick what shoes you want to wear. Oh, then I kind of like that outfit better because I like those shoes. Those shoes kind of don't go with this outfit. All right, I guess these it is, guys, because I really like those shoes. All right, we can have a hat. Oh, my gosh! You guys, is that not the cutest freaking thing in the whole world? Oh my gosh, you can have an African wild dog hat. Oh my lord. Okay, we're not going to wear a hat, but I think that, that is so cute. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Um, yeah, no, I'm definitely not that tiny. <laughs> so we'll go with large. I wish you could kind of like adjust a little bit because I'm definitely not. Hmm, I'm on the chunkier side. So we, we with it. I'm with it. All right. Um, okay, so we have options. Let's also look at the options menu. So let's kind of turn these things down. I always like to turn this stuff down just in case. Um, definitely enable subtitles. We definitely don't want to mute Z music. Um, mute non-voice audio during conversations. No. Camera. Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's see. No clip. No clipping? Is that what that means? I don't actually know. Focus on scenery. Rotation behavior. These are all things I'll probably change as we get in there. V-Sync. I can never remember if I actually want to have V-Sync on or off for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know the answer to that, because I never remember. Um, oh, wow. The the uh, quality of all this stuff is low. Let's put it on medium. Yeah. Let's put everything on like medium just to see how we do. And if it gets too much, we'll turn it off. Disable all hints. Sushi Foundry. Blah, 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 game, collision, okay, and controls. 
mouse controls. Okay, well, it'll show us all this. Okay, so I might have to go through this another time, but we should be okay. All right, let's get into the game, you guys. Oh gosh, we just like disappeared. Place your avatar HQ. The HQ is where other players will see your avatar and access any zoos or blueprints you have shared. Position your avatar anywhere on the globe. You can edit. Okay. Um, click and drag to rotate the globe. Oh, so where do we want the HQ? I guess like where I live. Um, I don't really want to like tell you guys where I live necessarily. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put it where I want to live, which is over here somewhere sort of we'll do there there we go right over there all right you guys <laughs> so here we are so we have scenario and franchise mode scenario embark on a career in zoo management complete varied and increasingly challenging scenarios to see how far you can go are you ready to launch your own franchise build zoos all around the world breed animals and release them into the wild but don't forget about your visitors sandbox start a new zoo on a fresh slate and let your imagination go wild you are free to build your dream zoo with no restrictions i wonder why that's locked i wonder if it's because it's the beta and they want you to play this the scenario or the franchise oh so franchise mode is you're literally like building a zoo just a bunch of zoos that are your own oh my gosh you guys this is insane okay well we are gonna start with scenario today um and we're going to keep playing that oh my gosh how many are there one two three four five six seven there's like almost 20 scenarios i doubt we'll get through all these scenarios by october 8th you guys which is super exciting because i want to be able to play them uh when the beta or when the full game releases i want to be able to still play this game for you guys um and all the scenarios so let's start with stately homeschooling at the goodwin house Goodwin House. Renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, the work hasn't quite been completed, which is where you come in. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. All right, you guys, here we go. Hey yo, at Hema too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet Planko you in person. Language. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. Hi, the Bernie. only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Yikes, okay. That's interesting. Look at the lemurs. Oh my god. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. Oh my god, look at the lions. <laughs> But we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Mm. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So <laughs> it's up to you to finish everything off. Whoa, look at that. Look at the giraffes. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you in at the deep end. Oh, My good. head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> oh my god, look at this zoo, you guys. It looks amazing, and look at all the trees and the, like, the land in the distance. God, I am so excited. All right, so what do we Hello do there. First? From Hello. that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Hi. 
good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about oh. to get really hands-on. Oh, consider it ditched. It's gone. Right in the ditch. The end. Goodbye, diploma. Sayonara. <laughs> it's gone. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. All right. First thing I want to do before we do that is actually adjust the graphic settings. I thought I could run the game on high, um, but it's looking like I'm going to need to adjust it to about a medium. So let's see how that does with the performance. All right. So we need to. Oh, wow. These controls are absolutely wonky. Holy heck. Oh, okay. All right, you guys. So welcome to the zoo. Welcome to Planet Zoo. I am super freaking excited to be here right now. Holy heck. But I have a confession because I don't like lying to you guys and I don't really like keeping things in the dark, even though I just like being honest. Like I'm an honest upfront person and I just don't feel comfortable continuing this when it's not exactly as it seems so um i had intended to record planet zoo tonight with the full intention of it being blind so i recorded it and i had several 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 technical difficulties because in typical boho rose fashion that's how this channel runs first parts never go well it came down to obs and fraps i finally got them working but not after much turmoil tonight so unfortunately, I have actually played through this first part two times now. Two times, you guys. Not just once, but two. So hopefully the third time is a charm. So if the sound is a little wonky, if the graphics are a little weird, I promise they'll be fixed in the next part. But I literally have been spending all night working with this. And I've been so excited to play that instead of giving up, I continue to push through and try to do this for you. So... This is what we're doing. So I actually am not too blind on this. Um, I know what we are doing because I've now done it two extra times. So we're going to go over here and look at the grizzly bears. Did you know that uh. grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate oh. for up to seven months a year? Oh, I did not <laughs> well, know that. Then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> I certainly would. Definitely. Select one of the bears oh and you'll bring up its information panel. These guys are so cute and they just get cuter and cuter every time I see them. Oh my gosh. I just love them so much. All right. So we need to uh, enter the grizzly bear camera. Oh see now, boy. this is a fantastic way to get a close oh. look at your animals. Yes. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. You are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you when you're ready, really let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. Okay. I've marked their location for you to find. Perfect. Now, this is Nakedra, and this is... Oh, this is pooping. <laughs> this is a pooping bear. This is Zachary. So Zachary and Nakedra are our two grizzly bears. They are so cute. Look at their fur. Look at their exhibit. It's actually really, really pretty. Oh, they're both pooping. Okay, wonderful. We have a lot of poop today. Wonderful. Just like any other day in my life um, since I work in an animal hospital. All right, so we're going to beep beep bop boop boop over here. And I still don't know the controls even after doing this about a billion times now. Uh, <laughs> the controls are super wonky. Okay. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion oh to you and God. me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Oh although God. prides of that size are pretty rare. Oh, you are so cute. But as Bernie and I would love say, you. those lions are awesome. <laughs> Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to our warthog habitat oh. and see what needs doing there. My god, you are... I don't want to! I don't want to leave this cute baby! Oh my god, you are adorable. You guys, if you know me or if you're new to my channel, you... You're going to learn very quickly that The Lion King is my favorite movie of all time. I think I've watched it probably 
a good million times and i just still love it so lions are one of my favorite favorite wild animals all right so let's go ahead and go over to the aha boopity boop bop -a -doop over here and gonna try to get the hang of these wonky keys and oh or not i don't know what just happened okay where are as we? you can see it's a lovely space for oh, warthogs but it's missing a certain something <laughs> Well, two somethings. <laughs> the warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay. All right. Animal trading. So we're going to go over here, and we have two warthogs. 81, 25, and 79, There we 26. are. A pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select buy from the side menu. All Normally, right. the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. Okay. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Oh, uh, but I really like elephants. I really like elephants. All right, so we have two common word hogs. One is about five years old and the other is 5.2 years old. They range from about $80 a piece. And they both have this golden ribbon that I have no idea what that is yet. Um, let's see. So size is 92%. Longevity is 58%. I'm assuming that's how long they live. So 58%. Uh, liveliness, uh, fertility is 83% and immunity is 67%. Compare mates. Uh, change mother, change father. Oh, okay. So this must be how you can determine the genetic potential of children by the warthogs or other animals you already have in your zoo. That's really cool. So you can actually, um, know what you're doing before you breed. Okay. So, all right, let's go ahead and buy this baby. And then this one has 83%. This one has longevity of 75, fertility of 83, and immunity of 67. Okay, so let's go ahead and adopt. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. <laughs> so how about you move them into their new home? Perfect. Okay, so... They are in the trade center, so send to zoo. All right, let's do that and then go back here in the trade center and send to zoo. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Beepity bop boop 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 over here. Okay, so here's the trade center, which is well, very tiny. As you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Uh, right, I let's get the warthogs good, habitat right? finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Okay. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. All right. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Oh, I love the Zoopedia. The Zoopedia, I really, really, really loved as a kid playing Zoo Tycoon 2. I learned so much of what I know today from reading the Zoopedia. Let's and start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay. I really want to name one of these Pumba. Is that silly? <laughs> I really want to name one of them Pumba. Okay, so we're pulling up the habitat and we have a small food trough and a small, or no, a large water bowl. So let's put down the small food trough. Um, 
I guess. Oh, okay, so it has tags on it. Okay, so this actually tells you what animal can use what object. Interesting, okay. So let's put that down. And then we'll put down the water bowl. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath Ugh. will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. I love her accent. I just do. I don't know why. She's just is so cute. Okay, so here's the mud bath. All right, so let's go ahead and put it over here near these rocks because it kind of matches the rocks a little bit. Oh, kind of gives the... Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Oh, now, well, thank you. Our I contractor try. had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and watsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. Okay. It's over near the hippos. Ostrich habitat we need to finish over near the hippos. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Beepity bop boop ba doop. Over here. All right. Okay. <gasps> I think I heard Job elephants. number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just True. make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so here we go. Um, we have a gate. We have a habitat gate. And I guess we can really put it anywhere, but we want it to connect, so we'll just kind of put right. it there. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. Ooh. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay. All right, so let's... Um, Oh, okay, so there's a lot of different stuff here. So we can do length, we can do straight or curved. I'm going to do straight. Um, free camera height labels. I don't know what that means, but we're going to kind of do a little bit of this. And okay, so this is probably where we want like a curve a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay. And then we have it kind of go back to being straight. And we just do it straight all the way there. Good work. Perfect. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. <laughs> but seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the okay. guests can see in. Well, that is kind of depressing, though, that you can only have an animal like in an exhibit, unlike in Zoo Tycoon, where you could let them roam around in just the own open zoo. That kind of really is upsetting because that was like the best thing. You could just have animals roaming around and just like hang out with them. So I don't know. I just would have preferred something like that, I think. There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on because it makes them happy and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't <laughs> true the last thing we need to do is to add a donation box you see when guests enjoy the view of an animal they'll make a donation just make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo so make sure you remember them Okay, Nancy, I will. All right, so we're gonna add a donation box of just $10. Um, it looks like we can favorite it so we can find it easier, which I find really cool. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, look at this funky little donation box. I actually really love that. We're gonna put it right here All next right, to the viewing area. All right, you finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Okay, four, okay, four ostriches. So let's go, um, animal trading okay i really love the interface of this zoo so far i think this is really cool okay so we have several ostriches here so this one has a gold ribbon i still don't really know what this means um but the size is 67 the longevity is 75 fertility 83 and immunity 67 compare me to previous source custom seizure 
person in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is actually really cool. Oh my god, this is actually really cool now that I think about this. The source of the animal from where we're getting it from is from a custom seizure, meaning that someone was trying to take it over the border and do some nefarious shady things. So they actually seized it and now we can put it in our zoo so that way it's where it belongs. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So we're going to adopt this baby. Um, this one, uh, we're also going to adopt. This is also from a custom seizure. This one, uh, 92% size. I don't know what that means. Does that mean, like, the size of the exhibit is what it needs? Or, like, the size of the animal? Like, I don't know. But also custom seizure. Oh, okay, so this one. The fertility is only 33%, so this ostrich is not actually very fertile. This is also a custom seizure, but this is actually going to be really important for when we need to eventually breed in the future. This one probably will have a tougher time breeding than the other ones. They all are about 11 to 15, 16 years old, so they are pretty old. Considering I don't actually remember how old ostriches live to be, so they actually might not be too old. But we will see. All right, so now we can place them all in the trade center. Um, animals in storage, four out of 30. That just kind of sounds silly, like in storage. Oh, we can select all. Oh my God, that is so amazing. Because I was going to say that was going to get really old. While really we fast. wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. Okay. All right, let's do it. So let's go to, what am I doing? Where? Oh, habitat, okay. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Okay, all right, so let's do all just so we can see everything that the ostrich is gonna need. So it's gonna need a large food bowl so we can put the large food bowl maybe like over here. And then, oh, did you see how the grass just disappeared when we put that down? That is actually really cool, and I love that feature. Okay, so this is a slow feeder. This likes the common ostrich and the Indian peafowl. So I really think I want to put the enrichment definitely close to the uh, window, because guests really love seeing animals play with things. All right, and then I'm going to put the water trough actually over here, just so it's a little out of the way. Oh, gosh, that made a really big dip in the terrain. Oh, wow. Good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can wow. actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some big crates that are opening. Do you guys see that? That's insane. Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? <laughs> Every time we get an ostrich. <laughs> so, now we've made the ostrich's Surprise lives a bit the better, cheetahs. let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. <laughs> true whoa oh my god that is one big bird hello big bird haven't seen you since your sesame street days holy crap holy this is a lugaba a lug a lugbala a lugbala this is a lugbala this is the male oh my gosh is this the one that was like 90 percent size because that makes so much freaking sense. You, my friend, are one big bird. Look how fast he runs. Oh my gosh. He's huge. But I guess he should be pretty huge because that shows the females that he is a capable mate, I would assume. And look how fast he goes. Holy cow. He is humongous. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I am having a lot of fun playing this game, even though I've had to record it several times now, but I'm still having so much fun. And actually, the funny thing about it is the more I go through this, the more that I'm discovering again um, as I'm having to kind of redo this. But actually, from this point forward, I am totally blind on what we're doing. So I'm actually really excited to continue this adventure and the many more adventures to come playing Planet Zoo, especially since I have such nostalgia and miss Zoo Tycoon so, so much. I would have loved if Zoo Tycoon could have had a remaster, but this 
this is screaming my zoo tycoon remaster you guys and i'm living for it so if you like this part go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time bye